Hey, what's going on people, Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in the new Starfield, so make sure to watch it till the end. Also, without wasting any more time, let's get started. Alright, first things first is open up your Steam and then locate Starfield over here. If you have bought it on Steam, right click on it, go to manage and then click on browse local files. Now over here, you will find starfield.exe, simply right click, go to show more options and then click on properties. Over here, go to the compatibility tab and then make sure to select disable full screen optimizations, click on change high DPI scaling, enable override high dpi scaling behavior and set the sync to application then simply click on ok and then apply once it is done you will be eliminating major input latency with just this step well before moving ahead i would like to introduce you all to gvg mall a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place gvg mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors which is legit reliable and convenient on the website you can find a lot of categories where you can get steam and origin as well as pc game gift cards and genuine windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have windows 11 update for free and it is perfect time to get rid of that windows activation mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Next step is the essential windows settings and for that you need to open up settings on your PC, then go over to gaming part, then go to Xbox Game Bar and make sure that this is disabled. Xbox Game Bar consumes a lot of memory in the background and it is not good for your gaming performance. Right beneath that, go over to graphics and then click on change default graphics settings and enable both of these options. Both of them will be helping you guys since Starfield is majorly based on windowed borderless gameplay and this will optimize your game for windowed screens reducing your input latency as well as improving FPS performance. Now go back to graphics and over here a list of all of the games and applications will already be loaded. What you need to do is go to browse and then go to the installation directory of your Starfield. Once you've found your game simply click on add and that will be added over here. Go to options then select high performance. Now go to gaming and then open up game mode and make sure that this is turned on. This will disable all of the notifications popping in the background and also optimize your PC by disabling things in the background to get you better performance. Next step is create a restore point and this is really important. Simply search for create a restore point on your PC and then open it up. Locate your local disk C, click on create and name it Starfield. Then simply click on create. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really beneficial and you can always restore everything back to normal. Now next step is downloading Starfield FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. In case you're having any issues downloading this pack, you can simply join my Discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial. Simply open this up and you will find in four folders. First one is the CPU optimization. And over here, you will find two folders for AMD and Intel CPU. Now to know your CPU, you need to search for system information on your PC and then locate your CPU or the processor. For me, it is AMD processor, so I need to run the AMD registry. Also, take a note of your installed physical memory that is 32 GB for me. Now I need to run the AMD CPU priority. You can use the Intel CPU priority if you have the Intel CPU. Next is the RAM optimization and I have 32 GB RAM. Once again, you can find that in your system information. You need to find your RAM that you're using and I have left a ton of presets over here as well as the reset to default in case you want to use that. In the third folder is the Windows important tweaks and over here I have left all of these registries. You need to run all of them to ensure you get best FPS always. Also, if you don't like these registries, I have left a reset to default to always revert these registries now coming back to the fourth one that is the starfield high priority you can simply run it to optimize starfield for the best quality and performance next step is your boot configuration and for that you need to search for system configuration on your pc and once this small window opens up select boot go to advanced option click on number of processors and choose the maximum number of processors available for your computer simply click on ok and this will optimize your boot in the long run 
also go over to the startup section and then open task manager and once your task manager opens up you will find all of the applications that are enabled with your pc's boot what you need to do is right click and disable all of the ones that you do not use such as xbox services ws helper and there are a lot of applications over here that you need to disable and disabling so will help you to increase your PC's performance since your boot time will be reduced. Next step is the best NVIDIA control panel settings for Starfield and for that right click on your desktop, go to show more options and then open NVIDIA control panel. And then once you are in NVIDIA control panel, go to manage 3D settings and copy the exact same settings over here. Once you're done applying that, you need to simply click on apply from the button over here and that will apply the best settings for your GPU. Then simply close NVIDIA control panel. Lastly is the best in-game settings. So open up your star field and follow the best in-game settings to get the maximum performance. Alright guys, once you are in-game, press your escape key and then go over to settings. Once you are here, go to gameplay and then over here, make sure that you save on travel, save on wait and save on arrest is turned on. Then go back and then go over to display and over here, make sure that borderless full screen is turned on. Dynamic resolution, keep it on and render resolution scale should be set to 50%. Although you can increase this a bit, that will improve your game's quality. Graphic quality, keep it custom. Shadow quality, keep it low. Indirect lighting, keep it medium. For reflections, keep it medium. Particle quality, keep it low. Volumetric lightning, you want to keep it low because this consumes a lot of FPS. Crowd density, you can keep medium. Motion blur off. GTAO quality, low. Grass quality, doesn't really matter. Then for the contact shadows, keep it low, but you can also keep it medium. For V-Sync, keep it off. Upscaling, go with FSR2. For sharpening, you can make your game sharpen. It is a user preference. Enable VRS, keep it off. Film grain intensity, keep it 0%. And the depth of field, you can keep it on and off. Uh, try which one works best for you. Now, if you go in the game and you can see the game looks really nice, no lag at all. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash your subscribe button since it really helps me out a lot. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Wear Fox and peace out.